Bess. People are returning to their homes tonight in Lynchburg. The threat of the College Lake Dam breaking affected more than 100 people and crews are working tonight to make the area safer. We've been reporting updates there since Thursday night. This video is from the city. It shows workers on scene slowly releasing water out of the reservoir in the nearby streams and creeks. The Red Cross is now saying it has officially closed its shelters used to house evacuees. The city and the University of Lynchburg are helping with emergency housing there still if needed. 10 News reporter Patricia Martellotti shows us how evacuees are doing tonight, and she has more on the work water officials are doing to the dam. Larry Farmer is ready to return to his normal routine. I'm excited about uh, being able to go back home to uh, uh, my home surroundings and everything. During the flood that displaced more than 100 people, Farmer spent two nights at the American Red Cross shelter. Oh, it was a great experience. Uh, I couldn't have expected a better shelter. Been here. Tim Mitchell of Lynchburg Water Resources says crews have been hard at work stabilizing the dam. I'm still stable and still in good condition right now overall, so we feel like it's going to be with the weather breaking as it is, I think we're going to be in pretty good shape today. Water levels are now going down, but it's a slow process. The short-term plan is to stabilize Lakeside Drive in order to open both lanes of traffic on 221. Right now the plan is we're anticipating the roadway being closed anywhere from six to eight weeks. We'll refine that more as we go along. The public is strongly advised to not walk on the lake bed due to unstable sediment. Much more capacity to handle incoming uh, stormwater and we don't foresee any issues going into the next week. While the dam is stabilized, Gearing says it will remain under 24-hour surveillance for the safety of everyone. In Lynchburg, Patricia Martellotti, 10 News, working for you.